Hello everyone. So in previous lectures we have learned about the physical and microscopic examination of urine. Today we are going to learn about the chemical examination of urine. So learning objectives of today are at the end of the session students should be able to describe principles of chemical taste and dipstick taste for determination of sugar, ketone bodies, proteins and blood in urine. He or she should be able to define glycosuria, what is ketonuria, proteinuria and hematuria, enumerate the associated pathological conditions and demonstrate the taste for the same and also he or she should be able to interpret urinary findings in different renal pathologies like nephritic syndrome, nephrotic syndrome and acute glomerulonephritis. So, Chemical examination is primarily aimed at detection of these seven elements. These are proteins, sugar, ketone bodies, bilirubin, bile salts, urobilinogen and blood. So protein element. So for detection of protein, there are two kind of tests. One is the qualitative test and second one is quantitative test. Qualitative test will tell you whether protein is present or absent in urine and with quantitative taste we can know how much amount of protein is present in urine. Qualitative taste includes heat and acetic acid taste, reagent strip taste or dipstick taste, sulfosilic acid taste and Heller's taste. Quantitative taste includes Asbex albuminometer method and turbidimetric method and there is specific type of taste which is available for Benz Jones protein that is taste for Benz Jones protein urea these proteins are excreted in some specific conditions like multiple myeloma so qualitative taste in practical examination you will have to perform this test heat and acetic acid taste or boiling taste the principle of taste is based on the proteins get precipitated when boiled in an acidic medium if urine is not clear centrifuge it and use only the supernatant part now how will you perform this taste so fill the taste tube up to the total level with urine and heat only the upper part of with keeping the taste tube in a slanting position and lower part should be considered as a control whenever there is a presence of phosphates carbonates or protein it will give a whitish cloudy formation so to differentiate whether this cloudiness is because of protein or it is because of the phosphate or carbonate we will have to add acetic acid so 1 to 2 drops of 10% acetic acid is added to this solution and if the cloudiness persists it suggests presence of protein. Acetic acid dissolves the carbonate and phosphate. So if cloudiness persists after addition of 10% acetic acid we can consider that it is due to presence of proteins. Cloudiness is base seen against the black background. And results are interpreted uh, interpreted as whenever the no cloudiness is present the taste results are considered as negative whenever the cloudiness just perceptible against the black background it is traced cloudiness without granularity plus one for ground granular cloudiness plus two whenever there is formation of precipitation and flocculation the plus three grade is given and in case of thick solid precipitation or the gel like precipitation then grade 4 is given reagent strip taste the taste is based on principle of protein error of indicator at a constant ph the reagent area of strip is coated with the indicator commonly bromophenol blue is used and it is buffered to an acidic ph usually at 3 and this area changes color in the presence of protein mainly reactive to albumin only and other type of proteins like benzone's protein hemoglobin and myoglobin cannot be detected by this reagent strip test so here is the diagrammatic presentation this is a various areas 
defined the various elements on lipstick taste and here is the different gradings of the proteins ranging from negative to trace to plus 4 sulfosilic acid taste in this taste we have to take 2 ml of clear urine and to this we have to add 4 to 5 drops of sulfosilic acid taste so if their protein is present in urine sample there will be development of cloudiness or heavy precipitation this taste is very sensitive and confirmatory taste and it has advantage that besides albumin it also detects benz jones protein hemoglobin and myoglobin fourth one is a heller stage that is concentrated nitric acid is used and white ring formation indicates presence of proteins <coughs> quantitative methods so as we have discussed with the help of quantitative methods we can know how much amount of protein is present for this thing we have we will we need 24 hour urine sample and it has more prognostic significance the diagram represents the asbex albuminometer where the urine is taken up to u mark and then asbex reagent which is comprising of citric and picric acid is added up to the mark r and kept overnight next day proteins which are precipitated to form whitish clot like coagulum will be read as per the markings on instrument and results are recorded in unit of grams per liter per 24 hour second method is biurate method which is based on the colorimetry and the turbidity metric method that is a semi quantitative method for estimation of protein now what is Benz Jones protein? So these are the light chain globulins which are seen in multiple myeloma, macroglobulinemias and lymphoma. The taste for the detection of these Benz Jones proteins are classical and older method that is thermal method also known as water bath method and second one is the electrophoresis method which is more sensitive and which will show M band in protein. In thermal method the property of benzene protein which is unusual kind that is precipitation at 40 to 60 degrees centigrade and then dissolving when the urine is brought to boiling temperature that is 100 degree temperatures and this precipitation reappears when the urine is cooled down now protein urea so what is protein urea Whenever there is a protein excretion in urine greater than 150 mg per 24 hours in adults, the condition is known as proteinuria. There are various causes of proteinuria and it has been divided into functional, pre-renal, renal and post-renal causes. Functional causes will include severe muscular exertion, pregnancy and orthostatic proteinuria. Renal causes are glomerulonephritis, nephrotic syndrome, renal tumor or renal infection. Pre-renal causes like fever, renal hypoxia, hypertension. And post-renal causes include cystitis, urethritis or prostatitis and contamination with vaginal secretions in case of females. Microalbuminuria is termed whenever there is excretion of of 30 to 300 milligram or 24 per 24 hours of albumin and this condition is indicative of early and possibly reversible glomerular damage and this is the earliest sign of renal damage in diabetes mellitus which suggests the diabetic nephropathy it also gives the and considered as an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease in diabetes mellitus now the sugar estimation so for sugar estimation benedict taste is used and this taste you will have to perform in practicals exam so principle is when urine is boiled in benedict's qualitative solution the blue alkaline copper sulfate is reduced to red brown cuprous oxide if a reducing agent is present how will you perform it in so 5 ml of benedict reagents is taken in test tube and to this test tube you will have to 
एड पॉइंट फाइव एम एल और एट ड्रॉप्स ऑफ यूरिन एंड मिक्स इट वेल बॉइल दिस ओवर फ्लेम फॉर टू मिनिट्स एंड अलाउ टू कूल एट रूम टेम्परेचर एंड नॉट द कलर चेंज डिफरेंट कलर्स गिव्स द डिफरेंट ग्रेडिंग सो वेन एवर देर इज अ नो चेंज दैट इज ब्लू कलर रिमेन्स द रिजल्ट इज इंटरप्रिटेटेड एज नील और एब्सेंस ऑफ शुगर ट्रेस विल गिव ग्रीन विदाउट प्रेसिपिटेट ग्रीन विथ प्रेसिपिटेट्स प्लस वन ब्राउन प्रेसिपिटेट्स प्लस टू ये वेन एवर देर इज अ येलो ऑरेंज प्रेसिपिटेट्स डेवलप दैट इज नोन एज प्लस थ्री ग्रेडिंग एंड वेन एवर दिज रिज ब्रिक रेड प्रेसिपिटेट्स आर डेवलप प्लस फोर ग्रेडिंग इज गिवन arbitrarily the grading also gives the quantity of this element which suggests 0.5 g per deciliter for plus 1 1 g for plus 2 1.5 g per deciliter for plus 3 and more than 2 g per deciliter for plus 4 benedict test detects all reducing substances like glucose fructose and other reducing substances and to confirm whether it is only or because of glucose dipsticks can be used which are based on the glucose oxidase reaction so reagent strip method reagent strips are specific only for the glucose estimation it is based on the two step methods which involves the glucose oxidase and peroxidase reactions so glucose in presence of oxygen and glucose oxidase will liberate the gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide and this hydrogen peroxide reacts with chromogen in presence of peroxidase to form a oxidized chromogen and that will give a blue color and also will regulate the water so glycosuria is the term given whenever there is a presence of detectable amount of glucose in urine normally a very small amount of glucose is, is excreted in urine usually less than 500 mg per 10 24 hour or less than 15 mg per deciliter and that cannot be detected by the routine test so glycosuria result if the filtered glucose load exceeds the capacity of renal tubular reabsorption and most common cause for hyperglycemia is diabetes mellitus causes of glycosuria has been divided into with hyperglycemia that is increase blood sugar level or without hyperglycemia that is normal glucose blood glucose level so glycosuria with hyperglycemia the causes are endocrine disease like diabetes mellitus acromegaly cushing syndrome hyperthyroidism and pancreatic diseases non endocrine diseases will include central nervous system disease and liver disorders drugs like corticosteroids and thiazides also causes glycosuria and elementary glycosuria glycosuria without hyperglycemia the cause is renal glycosuria ketone bodies there are three types of ketone bodies present in urine acetone acetoacetic acid and beta hydroxy butyric acid all these ketone bodies are products of fat metabolism a method for detection of ketone bodies includes rotheras test or classic nitroprusside reaction this test you will have to perform in practical exams other test includes the acid test tablet test ferric chloride test also known as gerhardt test and reagent strip test rotheras test the principle is acetoacetic acid or acetone reacts with nitroprusside in alkaline solution to form a purple color complex and the taste is sensitive to 1 to 5 mg per deciliter of acetoacetate and 10 to 25 mg per deciliter of acetone so how to perform this rotheras test you have to take 5 ml of urine and saturate it with ammonium sulfate to this you have to add sodium nitroprusside crystals and mix it well now slowly run along the side of the test tube the liquor ammonia to form the layer so whenever there is a development of purple color ring 
at the junction of two fluids that is ammonium sulfate sodium nitroprusside mixture and in between liquor ammonia so whenever there is purple coloring it is considered as positive test which suggests the presence of ketone bodies in urine and no ring formation which suggests negative test or absence of ketone bodies in urine so diagrammatic picture we can see the purple ring formation at the junction of the two fluids reagent strip method it is based on the principle that presence of acetoacetic acid in urine that will lead to the reaction with nitroprusside and will form a color complex reading can be taken after 40 seconds and reference range is from negative trace to the plus 4 level now causes of ketonuria so whenever there is excretion of ketone bodies in urine the term is known as the condition is known as ketonuria and it suggests the excessive fatty acid metabolism to provide the energy causes includes commonest is uncontrolled diabetes mellitus or diabetic ketoacidosis which is an emergency situation or a life threatening situation and here comes the important role of detection of ketone bodies in urine so commonest causes uncontrolled diabetes mellitus and usually type 1 diabetes mellitus second is the glycogen storage disease starvation persistent vomiting pregnancy severe thyrotoxicosis and protein calorie malnutrition now bile salts so for bile salt hay sulfur taste you have to perform principle is bile salts lower the surface tension of the urine and for this you have to take fresh urine in taste tube and sprinkle sulfur powder so whenever the sulfur particle sinks to the bottom the taste is considered as positive and if the sulfur particles remain floating it is considered as negative taste causes for presence of bile salts in urine are obstructive jaundice these bile salts are the salts of four different acid that is cholic deoxycholic quinodeoxycholic and lithocholic acids and it combines with glycine or taurine to form the complex salts bile pigments or bilirubin the taste for the bile pigment detections are Fawcett test, foam test, malin test and lugolyodin test and in practicals you have to perform the Fawcett test so principle is when barium chloride is added to the urine sample containing bilirubin the precipitates of sulfates appears to which the bilirubin is bound that is forming the barium sulfate and bilirubin complex and when Fawcett reagent is added, added to these precipitates there will be formation of blue green color so take 5 ml of urine in taste tube add equal amount that is same 5 ml of barium chloride and mix it well filter by using Wattman number one filter paper and add one to two drops of Fawcett reagents to the precipitates on a filter paper if the green color develops it suggests presence of bilirubin if there is no green color development bilirubin is absent here we can see the blue green precipitates which suggests the positive faucet taste reagent strip taste is based on the principle that bilirubin present in urine reacts with the diazo salt and will form the azobilirubin and this azobilirubin will be responsive for the color chain and it is proportional to the concentration of bilirubin the causes of bile pigments in urine includes conjugated hyperbilirubinemia which includes liver disease injury and hepatitis and obstruction to biliary tract urobilinogen early aldehyde taste is used for urobilinogen this taste is not used or rather going absolute due to the carcinogenic property of its content so early reagent early reagent that is para dimethyl aminobenzaldehyde reacts with urobilinogen in urine to produce pink color and intensity of which depends on the amount of urobilinogen so place filtered solution of faucet taste in another test tube for urobilinogen taste add about 5 ml of early reagents and if pink pale pink color remains it is suggesting normal urobilinogen level 
and whenever there is a cherry red color development it suggests the increased urobilinogen level so here we can see the cherry red color which suggests increased urobilinogen urobilinogen is a degradation product of bilirubin which is formed by the intestinal bacteria and whenever there is hemolysis there will be increased amount of bilirubin which suggests the increased level of urobilinogen and in case of obstructive jaundice there will be decreased level of urobilinogen reagent strip test includes the principle where urobilinogen present in urine will react with para diethyl amino benzaldehyde reagent will and will form the colored complex and reading can be taken at 60 seconds reference ranges include the 0.02 to 1 mg per deciliter of urobilinogen now blood so detection of blood is very much important element of the chemical examination of urine for blood estimation benzidine test is used principle is the peroxidase activity of hemoglobin will decompose the hydrogen peroxide and release the nascent oxi- oxygen and this nascent oxygen in turn oxidizes the benzidine to give a blue color how to perform this benzidine test so make a saturated solution of benzidine in glycyl acetic acid mix 1 ml of it with 1 ml of hydrogen peroxide and to this mixture you have to add 2 ml of urine so whenever the green or blue color develops within 5 minutes it suggests um, only blue color is important so blue whenever there is a development of blue color within 5 minutes the taste is considered positive if there is no color change then the con- taste is considered negative and it suggests the absence of blood in urine other test which can detect the blood in urine are autotoluidin test where instead of benzidine the autotoluidin is used and reagent strip test where the test area are impregnated with a different chromosome for example autotoluidin and tetramethyl benzidine and diagram suggests the range of detection like trace to plus 3 so the hematuria is the terminology given to the condition where there is a presence of abnormal number of intact red blood cells in urine causes of hematuria includes prerenal renal and postrenal causes prerenal causes includes bleeding diastasis hemoglobinopathies and malignant hypertension renal causes of hematuria includes trauma to the kidney calculi renal calculi acute and chronic glomerulonephritis renal tuberculosis and renal tumors post renal causes of hematuria include severe urinary tract infection calculi trauma and tumors of the urinary tract some term important terminologies like hematuria as we have discussed whenever there is a presence of intact rbcs in urine whenever there is a hemolysis in hemolysis occurring in the body it will release the free hemoglobin and that will be secreted in urine so this is known as hemoglobinuria the condition responsible for the development of hemoglobinuria are intravascular hemolysis for example severe falciparum malaria extensive burns prostatic heart valves and g6pd deficiency whenever the hemolysis is occurring for a longer duration the hemoglobin will be converted free hemoglobin in plasma will be converted to hemosiderin and that will be secreted in urine and this condition is known as hemosiderinuria examples include intravascular hemolysis and the urine can be stained with a prussian blue stain of urine and which will give a brick a uh, dark blue color myoglobinuria is present whenever there is a cross injury myocardial infarction severe electric shock and thermal burns and ammonium sulfate solubility test is used for the screening of the presence of myoglobin in u- urine now this is the diagram which shows the urinary finding in various renal diseases so normally the albumin is present in trace amount and rbcs and wbcs are usually absent or 0 to 2 
पर हाइपोवरफिल दियासिन कास्ट आर यूजअली एबसेंट और ओनली ओकेजनल कास्ट आर सीन विच आर यूजअली हाई लाइन टाइप ऑफ कास्ट पर लो पॉवर फील्ड एंड नो एनी अदर फाइंडिंग्स यू विल फाइंड इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन वेन एवर देर इज एक्ट ब्लू मेरोल नेफराइटिस देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ वन टू टू वन टू टू ग्रेड ऑफ एल्बिमिन देर विल बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ न्यूमरस आर बी सीज दैट इज द सिग्निफिकेंट फाइंडिंग इन एक्यूट ग्लूमेरोल नेफराइटिस सो देर विल बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ न्यूमरस आर बी सीज एंड दे विल बी डिसमोर्फिक डब्ल्यू बी सीज विल बी ओनली इज एबसेंट और अ फ्यू डब्ल्यू बी सीज कैन बी सीन एंड रेड सेल कास्ट एंड ग्रेन्युलर कास्ट वी कैन फाइंड ड्यूरिंग माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन एंड देर विल बी स्मोकी यूरिन और प्रेजेंस ऑफ हिमेच्यूरिया ग्रॉस हिमेच्यूरिया इन नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम देर विल बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटीन यूरिया दैट इज प्रोटीन यूरिया इट सेल्फ इज एड वन ऑफ द डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया फॉर नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम सो देर विल बी मोर देन फोर प्लस ग्रेड ऑफ आलबीमिन यूरिया एंड फ्यू आर बी सीज इन आर बी सीज एंड फ्यू डब्ल्यू बी सीज विल बी प्रेजेंट एंड देर विल बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ फैटी हाईलाइन वैक्सी एंड एपिथेलियल टाइप ऑफ कास्ट ऑल्सो अलॉन्ग विद प्रोटीन यूरिया देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ लिपिड यूरिया एंड देट विल लीड टू द ओवर फैट बॉडीज इन लिपिड यूरिया इन यूरिन एग्जामिनेशन एक्यूट पाइलोनेफ्राइटिस विल प्रेजेंट विद द न्यूमरस डब्ल्यू बी सीज पर हाई पावर फील्ड इन यूरिन एंड देर विल बी जीरो टू वन प्लस ग्रेड ऑफ अल्बिमिन यूरिया एंड फ्यू आर बी सीज विल बी सीन डब्ल्यू बी सी और पॉस्टल कास्ट एंड ग्रेन्युलर कास्ट विल बी प्रेजेंट वेन एवर द पेशेंट इज हैविंग एक्यूट पायलोनेफ्राइटिस एंड ऑल्सो देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सी क्लम्स बैक्टेरिया एंड नाइट्राइट टेस्ट विल बी पॉजिटिव इन एक्यूट पायलोनेफ्राइटिस सो दिस कंप्लीट्स अवर यूरिन एग्जामिनेशन थैंक यू